Hello and welcome back to Time to Change. My name is Jason Forehand. I am the founder of HR for You Incorporated. Today I have I have my buddy on here today. So this is going to be a great conversation. Janet Mohappy Banks, thank you for being here today. She is a consultant, a speaker. She is an international best-selling author. You can see it behind her. You can see it in my hand. Habits for Happiness, the ultimate personal development guide for creating the life you want. And today we are going to talk about that. Hi, Chase. And I am absolutely thrilled and honored to be on your show. Finally, finally, we <laughs> made it happen. We've <laughs> been trying for so long. <laughs> Oh, gosh, that's such a good question. Where does it start? It always starts with dissatisfaction, I guess. Habits for Happiness starts with unhappiness and understanding yeah. and being aware of the fact that, you know what, I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling that I am waking up with any zest for life. And it's at that point that you go, okay, I need to make a change. And when you fully decide, I want to make a change, I need to make a change, that's when you look within and you say, okay, what changes need to be made? What am I doing that is making me miserable? Where am I putting my energy where it just depletes just like that instead of like doing things that actually vitalize me? So that's like your starting point, I would say. When you're developing your habits for happiness, identifying where it isn't working in your life right now. And then starting with, okay, so this isn't working, but what is working? Ah, okay. So these things I get to be truly appreciative of. These things I get to like be really grateful for. These are the things that I love in my life and I can put all of my heart and soul into it and it just lifts you. Right. And then you get into that whole state of living in what is working, living in your happiness, being pulled by your dreams, instead of constantly saying, oh, I hate this bit. I hate that bit. I hate the other. Bit. You've identified the step. You've, you've taken the step to say, you know what? There's some things that are broken. There's some things that are not quite right. There's some things that I, I want to change. What's next? So after the gratitude piece, then for me, it's meditation. What meditation does is it takes you out of that scenario. It takes you out of the struggle, out of the resistance state. And it just helps you just get back into your body, helps you to be less in your head with all of those little thoughts constantly <laughs> like that. Yeah. It just lets you go, you just breathe into your heart space. In this moment, I have peace. I have peace of mind. In this moment, there is nothing more that I need. And there was another person, uh, Isabel Poland. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna connect you two. You will, you will love each other. I had a session with her through the Outlier Project, and she was, you know, talking about standing up from your desk, getting away, and because we do a lot of this work sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, here, getting up, standing up, breathing, you know, closing your eyes, getting into that space. So I love that you're talking about that. I also yeah. journal. So I'm interested in what you think about journaling. I already know, but I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> journaling is phenomenal for people who enjoy writing. There are lots of people who have a massive resistance to journaling. Um, for me, I think, again, it's. It's unleashing your subconscious thoughts when you journal, especially if you do like the conscious writing or the subconscious writing or whatever it's called, where you literally just, you know, pen on paper and you write for three pages, whatever is in your brain, whatever is not in your brain. If, if you can't think of anything to write, you just say, I have no idea what I am writing about. <laughs> But and you just keep writing and you keep writing for again, you know, sort of about 20 minutes, three pages, then you can go, oh, and it's incredible how much freer you feel, how lighter you feel after just doing that. Even if you never go back and read what you've written, which I recommend you do, I recommend you do go back and read what you've written because yeah. sometimes there's like, oh my God, did I really say that? Oh gosh. Yeah. I wonder where that came from. God, oh, that's a really good idea, you know, or 
I didn't understand that this was how I was feeling about that particular thing. Yeah. And again, it's that awareness. Once you have awareness, then change can happen. Without awareness, nothing changes ever. I love it when I read posts or I hear a story about someone who goes back to something they've written like years ago or this time last year. And they look at that juxtaposition from where they were to where they are now. And it, and it could be empowering. You know, it, it really could be empowering. I think of, you know, my journaling is a little weird because it's not in, I won't necessarily sit down and write three pages, but I have to get stuff out of my brain. Well, you, you see, know. you and me, we both used to write songs. <laughs> and from that's it's exactly the same thing. It's, it's just unleashing what's within and bringing it in the outside into yeah. the outside, you know? As I'm looking at my keyboard here and I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to write some, I'm going to write some music <laughs> and I'm going to send it to you in an MP3. And we're just going to, we're going to go back and forth until we have this amazing song that we release. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, I, one of the other things that you talk about later in your book that I really, really love is having a, um, a book that you keep that really talks about your wins, you yeah, know, and the things that you've done. And, and I'm, I'm telling you, I put it on my grocery list. Like I had read it and I had forgotten it. And when I was going back today in, in thinking about your book and questions I wanted to ask you while I had you on the show, I was like, I never like I'll journal and I'll do some of these things that you talk about, but I never bought that book and I thought that was such an amazing thing. So now it's on my, it's on my list. Now, Jody and I are going to go and I've got other things to do, but I'm picking up a book because I think that is so phenomenal. Mm. You talk about celebrating wins, but I, you know what? I want to write them down and I yeah. want to go back because even not just even personally, but even professionally with the nonprofit, it's incredible to me when I have conversations with people and I say, here's all the things that we did from 2022 to 2023. And they go, I've been in, I've been, I have had my nonprofit for five years and we're still working on that. And I go, these are the things that we've accomplished. I'm so proud of, but I also want to do that personally. Here are the things, mm -hmm. you know, I, I didn't lose just 25 pounds, but I kept it off and I'm yeah. healthier and I'm, I'm working out three times a week and I'm walking, you know, every single day and I'm not eating any more after 7 p.m. or whatever uh -huh. that is for you, you know? Yeah. And the other thing about having the book of wins, because it, it really is, <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. I love my book of wins. <laughs> what happens is that as you do your book of wins and you get into the habit of doing your book of wins every night. Um, yes. What you find is that throughout the day, you're going, oh, that can go in my book of wins. Oh, that can go in my <laughs> book of wins. And it literally just lifts you. Like throughout your day, you're just going, oh, that's another achievement. That's something else. And so you don't get into that sort of just free fall of, you know, sort of, oh, everything's just a bit heavy now. Because yeah. you're constantly going, oh, but I, there's that. Oh, and there's that. And the more you notice all of these amazing things, the more amazing things just seem to show up, you know? It's, yeah. It's and then you end up changing your mindset. Thing. Exactly. It's, it it's all about mindset. reprogramming your mind. Yeah. hundred percent. There's so many, it, it's not even a, a really long book, but it's so, <laughs> it doesn't surprise me that it's an international bestseller because of how many gems are in each chapter it's just like dropping gems it's just gold in every single one but let's take it to the next step we still got time to go over a couple other things before we have to close out but i want to you know what is a main what would be the mainstay so now you you've identified your weaknesses or things that you want to work on you've started to do the work you're you're breathing you're meditating you're journaling you've got a book of wins yeah. And all right, so what's that piece now to really kind of keep all, what's the glue to keep it all together and make sure that you stay on track? Yeah, the glue, I think, 
because obviously in the book we we just you know we discuss like uh, facing your fears and creating your boundaries because if you if you are led by fear then that stops you you know from doing yeah. anything if if right. that's your predominant um predominant energy is one of fear then you'll never ever achieve what you want if you don't set your boundaries fully that we were discussing before <laughs> before we came on <laughs> i'm working on find, it i'm working you, on it. <laughs> you will find that you know you become this yes person this yes person to everybody but every time you say yes when you want to say no you're actually saying no to yourself and you you put your you need to learn to put yourself first. Yeah. Okay. So yes, I am helping all of these people, and that is my life's work to help everybody in the world. But I am also a person in the world. I am also a person in the world that deserves my help. Yeah. I I'm great at saying that to other people. I'm really, <laughs> really great at saying, you know what? You can't pour from an empty cup. Yeah, all the, exactly. all the, you know, all of these, <laughs> you know, terms that we use and we say, yeah. I am terrible <laughs> at creating those boundaries. I, and I'm not going to even talk about it on the show. I'm not going to waste the time, but we talked yeah. about it off camera that I, I gave you some <laughs> examples. People, Friday night is date night. Do not call me on date night. I'm just going to turn <laughs> off my phone. Yeah, turn your phone off. And that and that's a perfect example of how to create boundaries. You teach people how to treat you. You know, if you don't want to be Very called true. on a Friday night, you turn your phone off. You, you block their calls, whatever. If you don't want people to be awful to you, to talk to you badly, you don't let them talk to you badly. You yeah. don't accept it. You know, um, so it's and when you do that as well, sorry, it's it's all about self-esteem and confidence. Yeah. If you can stand up for yourself and say, you know what, that crosses one of my boundaries. The way you've spoken to me there, I find unacceptable. I no longer treat myself in that way. I no longer speak to myself awesome. badly. I no longer run myself down for the tiniest mistake. So I am not going to let you do that to me either. Good for you. No, and that's, when that's you do really that, awesome. the world kind of spins around and people stop treating you as badly because you're just not available for it. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, we're out of time, which is unfortunate mm -hmm. because we could talk yeah. about this, you and this book. And I just put up your website, uh, Janet, um, besides being a fantastic writer and, and a musician and a songwriter, I mean, she's an incredible human being and she's a mom, but she's also a coach and a consultant. So here is her right down here is her website. You can also reach her on LinkedIn um, and you can go through our website. We also have her in our partners page as well. We're proud to partner with Janet. Pick up a copy of her book, people. Pick it up. This is an amazing book. She's an amazing human being. I'm so glad that we had this time to do this. Oh, thank um, you so much. You just Jason. dropped some great nuggets. You just dropped some great <laughs> nuggets for people. We're going to look at this. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. We have been talking to Janet Mohappy Banks, and this is Time to Change.